Good afternoon, wonderful viewers. It's 12 p.m. live in Lemon, and this is Fine TV Gambia, your eligible point. Today, we are here to witness the graduation of Combo Kerouan Upper and Senior Secondary School in Lemon. The graduates are well dressed in their gowns with their beautiful appearance. Parents, invited guests, and people from diverse walks of life are also sitting. Stay tuned as we dig into the important part of the program. This is Fine TV Gambia, your eligible point, and I was your reporter of Poker Party. Gambia <laughs> Assalamu <laughs> This is how I told you how to play. Somebody will come back while I'm in the crowd of the new year and the last year. The next year, 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 the next year,
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فقل يوت ربي وحرم عينا فإما ترى إن من البشر أحدا فقولي فقولي إني نظرت للرحمن صوما فلن يكلم اليوم يوتيا Thank <laughs> you. 
Sen ne yazar? Mesta Mesta Kani, Ustaz Kani Ustaz is a vibrant teacher When you come to the school, you will not even think that he is an Ustaz Whatever goes on in the school Ustaz used to be part of the first people to put their hands in the success of that thing Mr. Kanye, your effort is being recognized We also have Mr. Savion Mr. Savion Gede We also have Mr. Ahmad Huma He is the head of, head of SES department We also have Mr. Jaju Jaju English The great Welsh Please, can you put your hands for Mr. Jaju English? We also have Mr. Mr. Cham. He is the head of science department. Then from Mr. Cham, we also have Moru. Moru is the personal assistant to the principal of the, the school. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to witness the graduation ceremony of 95 graduates who will be leaving senior secondary school transferring to the tertiary level when the results are out. Then, this year's theme for the graduation ceremony is centered on achievers belief in their powers. Achievers believe in their powers. These people are graduating today. We believe that they will be achievers in the long run. Then they have to believe in their powers. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite Abdullah Jaju to educate us and entertain us with poetry. Because they said, poetry is the food of the soul and it cleanses the soul from all forms of ills in the society. May I welcome Abdullahi Jaju to entertain us with poetry. And the title of the piece he's going to recite is Togetherness. Togetherness means in one of Dono. They used to say Dono my Bene. Abdullahi Jaju is going to entertain us with the piece entitled Bolo or Togetherness. Where's Abdullah Jaju? Abdullah Jaju of Great Eight. In the absence of Abdullah Jaju, may I invite Usman Danzo to educate us and entertain us with a piece. Usman is a powerful poet. Usman is a powerful poet. And Osman is the current head boy of Kondokeran Upper Basic and Senior Secondary School. Students and graduates, can we make some noise for Osman? Good morning to the principal of this noble institution, Vice Principal, members of the high table and the graduates and my fellow students and the peers. My name is Usman Danso, known as Poet Danso, the Eye of the Blind. Okay. I am just here to decide a time and thank you to my daughter. And here it goes. Bringing my picture to the Gatigal Indian my digger, the digger digger no digger. A little more and more is my name. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it is happening. What you have dreamed about is the risk that is in your mind, that you feel it up and turn yourself into blind. If you have seen it, then you can get it. If you can get it, then you can touch it. If you can touch it, then you can enjoy it. My dear, you are born to turn your feelings. You are born to find those souls. Just find that spark in yourself. 
Nevertheless, that the figure in a like this one a bit more bright. Find that the star is not good. So that's how you grow just in case you grow up you want to be an insect. I don't want you to be flying because we all know the flying depends on you. So that's how you grow. That's how you grow just in case you grow up you want to be an insect. I want you to be a bee. So that is ever. Man wants to call you honey, you should know that you can make honey. So don't tell when you grow. The man older than your father, the man the same age with your father wants to court you. I want you to tell him this. I am diabetic, I don't do sugar daddy. So don't tell when you grow. I don't want you to go for man with biceps and the triceps, but I want you to go for man with concept. Then success will come. Success and always follow your dreams, but for success is not given but taken. For you to succeed, if you desire to succeed, so be the architecture of your own destiny and carry all your dreams to be succeed if you fight. Thank you so very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. For the entertainment on the side of poetry. Thank you so much. It's poetry. Well, remember, most of the poetry is a religion. Carl used to say poetry is a religion, but he used religion figuratively. Thanks a lot, Osman Jassi, Osman Dabsorada. Then may I invite Bansa Salimadukoli and Vita Jaju to entertain us with a duet. Duet is a poetry piece that is recited by more than one poet or poetess. May I call on Ponce, Bas, Salimadukoli, and Vita Jaju to entertain us with a duet. Um, we are here like... Alright, um... Some of you are invited, yes, you are parents, but you cannot come with four to five people and you expect all of them to have six. Okay, and we have other parents that are standing. If you know that you are here with a child, the child can, we can remove a table outside there at the back so that they can sit there, we can have parents to sit, okay? And if you are a student and you are there, please leave the seat. If you are a current student and you are there, leave the seat, please, huh? So that we can have parents to sit. I am here to we are here to reside a poem at times in the darkest time of life. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. In the darkest time of life, we will all know about our suffering. In the darkest time of life, we will all know about our pain, our weakness, our fears, and our feelings. Yes, it is sad, but sometimes, in the darkest time of life, we will all scramble, struggle, stumble and tumble. In the darkest time of life, it is true, we will all know about our suffering, but we should always feel and help each other. We should always consider each other. We should always and always help each other. <laughs> Take the campaign with Lau, Rau, Lors, and Domin Yaka. This is your Adrian, Dano Kutigla. Temune Elegunaka. I don't know who met him with Yan Naramuna. But the Olofia name Kumun, Moon, Kon Gumutar Bangadao. Pasting you like a solo dao, Tai dao, Buga de dao, do peke dara, Konan Moon Pascalo Gisbina. Le best de la rafa, le set de la tilim, le verre de la nul, c'est dead way. Laysa, 
I do love that for body charming. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. But our weapon is excessive prayer. And have in mind that as humans, in the darkest time of life, we should not be cruel to each other. We should not be heartless to each other. We should not use advantage against each other. In the darkest time of life, we should try and solve each other's problems. We should keep motivating each other. Tell your brother, don't feel hopeless or helpless. Things will work for you. No matter how it takes, things will work for you. Make him believe that things will work for him. In the darkest time of life, no matter how it takes, always focus and follow your dreams. Because life is a mixture of joy and pain. Happy graduation day to all graduates. Thank you a lot. Bonze, Salimatu, and Puntu. The proof that they have decided, entitled. The proof that they have decided was entitled in the darkest time of life. In the darkest time of life, people need your support. You should not turn your back to the people that need your support. They need you in order to light the candle for them to see the gate to success. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to recognize the presence of the ex students of Kumbakaran Upper and Senior Secondary School. Please, can we give them a round of applause? They have been very helpful towards this graduation ceremony. Then I'm going to invite one of the ex-students, who is no other person other than Fatima Fati, to give a speech on behalf of the ex-students of Kondakaran Upper Basic and senior secondary school. Please, can we make some noise for Fatima Fati? Fat Good afternoon everyone. My name is Padma Rafadi. I am here to deliver a speech on behalf of the Ex-Student Association. I will. As I stand before you today, I can help but feel a mix of excitement and not so good. Graduation marks the end of one chapter at the beginning of another. It's a time of transition, uncertainty, also endless possibility. Today, I want to talk to you about life after school and the journey that awaits us all. The transition from school to the real world can be daunting. We leave behind the comfort of family faces and rodents and step into a world of unknown. But it is important to remember that this is the good. This is the good where happens. It's this moment of uncertainty that we discover who we truly are and what we are capable of. One of the keys to a fulfilling in life after school is pursuing our passion. It's about finding what truly ignites our souls and dedicating ourselves to it. When we chase our passion, we find purpose and fulfillment. It may not always be the easiest path, but it is the one that leads to a life filled with joy and contentment. Along this journey, we will undoubtedly face challenges. The job market may be complicating or we may struggle to adjust to a new environment. But each job challenge presents an opportunity for growth and learning. It's during these tough times that we discover our strength, to talents and ability to overcome obstacles. So to graduates, as we embark on this new chapter, let's embrace the unknown good of the art. Let's pursue our passion with unwavering determination and face challenges head on. Remember, life after school is not just about the destination, but the journey itself. It's about the lessons we make. It's about the lessons we learn, the connections we make, and the passion we become.
question I want to win. In conclusion, I want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this incredible journey. We stand here today, ready to set up the world, and with knowledge, skills, and food of endless possibilities. Let's mark the most of this new chapter and write our own success stories. And thank you all for a wonderful time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the privilege of being in the presence of a true visionary leader. In fact, the guest speaker does not need to be introduced in this honorable gathering because the world has already introduced the guest speaker. He is a global asset that is known. The guest speaker for this occasion is no other person other than Osman Jazzy, commonly known as the Gambia's PLO, Patrice Lumumba. He's a true Pan-African. He's going to speak on the topic, don't be afraid. Every serious school leader is a potential achiever. He's going to address the gradual, let them not be afraid. Every senior school leader is a potential achiever. They used to say in Warak, now they say, Samuel Segla, the Fatesi Fifty. And I believe, after Usman Jazi addressing the graduates, they will believe in themselves. They will stand and say, Yes, I am. Yes, I can overcome any challenge. That comes on my way. Ladies and gentlemen, before I call Usman Jassi on stage, please allow me to read the CV or the biography of Usman Jassi. You will believe that Commodore and Upper and Senior Secondary School does not make any choice in choosing Usman Jassi as the guest speaker of 2023 graduation ceremony. Osman Jazi is the name. Osman Jazi is a Gambian like any other Gambian. Osman Jazi now lives in Burfoot. He lives in Burfoot, decided to come and attend the graduation ceremony, and he came before the stipulated time. The letter that was sent to him it's still, the graduation ceremony is going to start by 10 a.m. Before 10 a.m., Osman Jazi was on the ground. Osman Jazi was born and brought up in Pata Linding. Pata Linding. I know most of us do not know where Pata Linding is located. Pata Linding, I can say, is not that much big, but even be called a village. It can be called a hamlet. Mr. Geographer, if I may be right, to address Pakalending as a hamlet. From a hamlet, Osman Jazi rise to be one of the most instrumental sons of this country. Osman Jazi, please, Osman Jazi is still single. He is a bachelor. He is bachelor as we speak. Osman Jazi. It's a bachelor. Osman Jesse can speak Mandinka and Wolof aside from English. Then we go to the educational background of Usman Jesse. Educational background, professional training and courses. Osman was a student at the University of the Gambia and studied law. He studied law and graduated in 20. 21. He started in 2017 and graduated 2021. Upon completion of the university, Osman decided to go to the bar school. If you want to be a practitioner on the side of law, you have to go to the bar school for you to be trained to become a lawyer. 
As I speak, Osman Jassi is a lawyer. Then Mr. Dabe is safe here. Because I have a lawyer who can protect me. Osman Jassi is a lawyer who works at Toronto Law Chambers. He is now practicing law, working with Toronto Chambers after completing his bar school. Osman Jassi also attended college, Rural Development Institute, and was awarded a certificate in Integrated Rural Development Studies that was in 2013 to 2015. Osman Jassi, some of you might think that Osman Jassi attended Nusra Senior Secondary School. Osman Jassi did not even know where Nusra was located when he was pursuing his career in senior education. Osman did his senior school at Tahir Hamadiya Senior Secondary School. Can we give the round of applause? Then Osman Jassi was awarded West African Senior Secondary Education from 2008 to 2011. Then we go to work experience. Osman Jassi served as a teacher. Then Osman Jassi was called Mr. Jassi. Before being a lawyer, he started from the classroom. Then that is why I decided to go to the classroom. Maybe next year's graduation, you will not see Mr. Trane here. I will also move. No condition is permanent in life. Then, Osman Jassi. Osman Jassi also works at the community, works at, as a community development assistant with the Department of Community Development since 2016 to 2022. Then network and civil engagement. Osman Jassi represented, he was a country representative of all African students. All the universities in Africa, Osman Jassi was the one representing the University of the Gambia. All African students, Osman Jassi was the one representing the Gambia. He was a president of the University of the Gambia Student Union. When I was at the university, Osman Jassi served as my 